Hey everybody, Jack Boyles with Steam Engines USA and today I've got a very special little steam engine that we're going to take a look at. So I'm going to open it up and pull it out of the box and we will take a peek. Alright, got a little note with it. And we'll take a peek. Looks like you got it all boxed up pretty good. That is. Get that out. Oh, I'm gonna have to have you two hands, so we'll come back. I'll set it out here. Got it out of the box, stuck it over here. Oh, look. Spin around, this side's closed up, so let's remove the plastic uh, wrap and we'll come back. So, first peak, it is a transition 35. So these, these are engines you don't see all that often. Um, let's see. The board looks really good. There looks like some kind of corrosion or rust going on in here, but I can't tell if it's in the boiler or if it's just in the porcelain, because this has a immersion, a porcelain immersion heater or ceramic, ceramic immersion heater. Um, and those can be corroded. Uh, the bowler looks is very dirty, but it looks to be intact. Let's see, this is spinning pretty well. Sight glass looks good. This is uh, there's no rust here. It's just um, looks like the oxidation. So that's good. So I am going to let's undo the. Take the um, cord, the power cord, and we're gonna move it off to the side. And then I'm gonna take this back cover off so we can get a little better, a little closer look at the heating element. See what we're dealing with. Yeah, okay. All right, so we've removed one screw. There's other screw. And you're gonna get to see what I see as I see it. Oh, wait, do I get one more? Nope, that's it. Mm. Ah, so it's not, look at that, it's tape. It's not any kind of rust or corrosion. Somebody's put some big thick rubber looking tape around the top of this thing. Almost like heat shielding. Well, I'm impressed. And it looks like, oh, you can see it in there. It looks like the ceramic is good. I wonder if that's. Hmm. I almost want to pull all that off and I probably will but so far it's looking pretty good let's take let's see if the whistle comes out oh yeah come right off let's see what that looks like okay pretty clean looking that looks good let's see here I may have got real lucky on this it looked like it was a rusted up engine but in reality it's actually that spring is just loose but a little bit of corrosion right there wow i will say that i'm impressed i'm very surprised i'm pleasantly surprised so for a lot of folks that don't know this was a transition piece from uh the early uh jensen 85s and uh which it has the cover on the back, like so, it goes right there. Then you have the boiler, um, big giant flywheel, and then they transitioned. Later on, they had a smaller flywheel. This was removed, and they put the heating element under the boiler. So this is what, it's literally called a transition, a Jensen transition model 35. And there's not, 
a whole lot of these out there. Um, this one uh, appears to have never been nickel plated. So this should all polish back all out to copper. Um, and what I'll do next before I do anything else with it, I'm gonna put the, I'm just gonna leave the housing on here. I'm not gonna screw it back on, but I will pressure check the boiler. Um, make sure it's tight, check the seals. Um, I'll cut it on, test the heater. And if everything is good at that point, I may just clean it up and leave it as is. Um, I like some of these old engines, the way they're found. Um, and I think a lot of this, I mean, I can feel it. It's just oxidation on here. So we'll take a, a look at it cl a little bit closer. And then, um, you know, we may just take it completely down, strip it all the way down, redo the boiler, polish everything. This paint in here will probably clean up. It won't even need to be painted. And then uh, maybe paint the boiler. The wood base looks really good. The logo's in great shape. So this would be, this should be a really easy restore. Um, or maybe not easy, uh, the appropriate wording, but it should be a pretty straightforward piece to restore. Um, and it, I mean, it would just look absolutely museum quality. Uh, as it is, it looks like it's just a really nice saved Jensen uh, 35 transition model from the 1930s so yeah love it so there's that so yeah we got uh i think we got pretty fortunate with this piece um it was actually listed on ebay that it, it did not sell for five dollars that was the listing price i actually paid way more than that for it i gave a pretty reasonable price based on uh what it was uh the condition uh it's 155 dollars just in case you want to go back and look, but um, these are, um, they're worth a lot more cleaned up and like new condition. Um, they're, they are very collectible, but I think that was a reasonable price to pay for the risk. Um, and we lucked out on this one. Um, just depends on the, the heater. It, uh, those, that heater, they don't make those no more. So I'd have to replace it with um, a hot watt heater but um yeah i think as long as it's not rusted up i think we'll do do okay with it so um thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy this box opening on our transition 35 jensen and it looks like it'll be a nice addition to the collection All right, so I went ahead, I slid the boiler back, snugged it down, repositioned the, uh, the smokestack base so it's in the right spot. And um, yeah, it's looking good. I, as you can see, I straightened this up so the sight glass is up like it's supposed to be. Just before I go here, just a, a little quick update at the end of the video. And yeah, I think I think this could just use a really good cleaning, some scrubbing. Um, I'll test the heater out, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I mean, that's it's a really nice piece. Um, I have some smokestacks. This is a, just an aluminum smoke a smokestack that was painted black uh, in the 1930s. So it'll I got a smokestack that I'll put on there, and it'll be complete. So yeah, very good. Uh, Thank you, Dave. This is a great addition to our collection. I really go enjoy um, cleaning this up and we may even get a steam, uh, steaming it up a little in a later video. So from High Point, North Carolina, thanks for watching Steam Engines USA. Have a great day.